Hello, my lovely Virgo. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Virgo, welcome to this April reading. And today we're looking very strongly into who is coming towards you, what is coming towards you. You might see it, you might not see it, you might be aware, you might not be. And it's for Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs in Virgo. Take it what is connecting, what is resonating, leave what doesn't. And of course, let's not be judging. Not every single general reading could be for you or could resonate with your situation or with your energy. Let's see, loves, what we have at this moment that is coming and that is for you. Aries energy strongly, quite firm energy. As you know, Aries is ruled by Mars. There's something here you, you might want to do. You are quite decided to, and you feel like firm about it. And that might be in the month of April. As you know, the April month is Aries month. Let's hear what this is about. Four of Cups for you. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Queen of Swords. Two of Swords. Eight of Cups, Lovers, Two of Pentacles, and King of Wands. All right, loves. I see you quite thinking like day and night about something or somebody. I feel here you are connected, could be connected with another earth sign, but I feel here that's you. I see very strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is my Libra energy. We have Gemini as well, and we have a fire energy. Could be Aries, could be Leo, could be a Sag. There's also something here that Somebody here says no more a third party or I don't want to be in a third party and left. I don't want to be juggled here and there, here and there. There's somebody here offer you something and you might say no to them. Because I see you walking away. You might not talk to them at this time but I feel here is like I choose to go away from let's see whatever offer here somebody offered to you you might thought afterwards like was worth to say no or not you're still probably thinking it. Whoever you are connected, they could have Virgo Casp Libra energy out there. But I feel here you shut down communication with this person. On the other note, you are still thinking of somebody here. But you're not sure what they up to. Let's see. We have the Emperor and Six of Swords. There's something here you are moving forward. So let's see here what this Four of Cups is about or been about. Indeed, here you are connected with an air sign and a fire sign. King of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, 
and Ace of Swords. Somebody here, quite honestly, been speaking their feelings. I rather stay where I am than to be with somebody in any third party. And that is quite understandable. Queen of Swords, why you are here? Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. And Page of Cups. There's something here about this Queen of Swords. They could have Pisces in the chart. But the thing is, something here that couldn't go to the distance. Somebody here is like, I, I don't want to give it a chance. Or there was like very strong, like, I can't give it in. Two of Swords, King of Pentacles, and that's you, love. I feel here you rejected somebody here and walked away. What's this Two of Pentacles here? High Priestess. Knight of Swords. There is a secret love here for you, Virgo. And that somebody here is still it's still feeling that is not fair. And that could be your twin twin flame energy here. Somebody here is leaving or is being an, it's like anonymous energy here. And I feel here, this air sign could knew about it or could sense about it. Whatever the case is here, the Virgo is moving towards something way better. Leo energy here. King of Wands, why you are here? Six of Pentacles. Judgment, death. And page of wands. As we have here a seven of pentacles as well and a star. The thing is here, for you Virgo, this King of Wands energy here. Is that type of energy that I never will lower my standards. It's like if I feel I'm bread crumbed or if I feel it's not fulfilling me, I'm out. It's a very sexy, attractive person here. And I feel here they might have been waiting for you. What's the Emperor doing in here? Six of Swords, Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Hierophant, Hangman. 
there was something here, a Virgo here, who needed to end something. And indeed took a lot of time. But now it's kind of the, the things start taking, you know, contour. And now it's like, now I can move forward. But there is also an energy like, what's next for the future? Love. Love is coming. Nine of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Don't resist it, love. Don't resist it. Because the universe tries to move you. The universe is moving you. Okay? Because I feel here Nine of Wands is like, are you serious? What well, love? And yeah, brings you love. For some of you, it's bringing you a fire sign or you are moving towards a fire sign. You might leave behind an air sign or somebody who have air and water in the chart. But for the fact, the universe moves you and it tells you now. The movement is now. But look at this, how much resistance is here. It's unbelievable. So, yes, Virgo. I feel here you are going towards something new. And most likely love energy here for you. There's another thing here for the Virgos. As the Spirit says, open your heart. I don't see a third party right now. If being in the past, any third parties, they're not right now anymore. They're not now. As we have two of cups, two of swords, Two of Pentacles, the one is two of Wands missing here, which is about decisions. And believe it or not, the Emperor is the one who makes decisions of movement forward. And I feel here is like the decisions are quite different than been before. And also making better choices. So yes, loves. There's new beginnings coming for you. There's a new journey. And I feel here the universe is giving you now the opportunity to build something new. It's offering you that new energy. So yes, loves, allow it. Love and light, Virgos. Many blessings. Bye for now.